Interesting facts about Saturn. Where did the name Saturn come from? Saturn is the Roman god of generation, decay, abundance, wealth, agriculture, time, periodic renewal and liberation. Later, he also became the god of time, and this planet moves very slowly the equivalent of the Greek god Cronus. What is the temperature on the planet Saturn? Saturn receives 90 times less solar heat than the Earth. The temperature on Saturn at the top of the cloud cover is only minus 180 degrees Celsius. What does Saturn consist of? In the upper layers, Saturn is mainly composed of ammonia ice, under which there are clouds of water ice. Closer to the core, Saturn is composed of an icy mixture of sulfur and hydrogen, and deep inside, the core itself is made of metallic hydrogen. Who discovered Saturn? It is not known who was the first to discover the planet Saturn. The Italian astronomer and physics Galileo Galilei saw the planet through a telescope in 1610. Fifty years later, using a powerful telescope, the Dutch researcher Christian Huygens discovered that the planet was surrounded by rings. What are the rings of Saturn? Some scientists say that at the end of its formation, Saturn had several very large moons that were destroyed by the gravitation interaction of Saturn. The heavy fragments of these satellites fell to the planet, but the light ones, consisting mainly of water ice, remained in orbit. They eventually formed the rings. How many satellites does Saturn have? As of June 2023, Saturn has 146 natural satellites, the discovery of which was registered by the International Astronomic Union. Of these, 63 satellites have their own names, while the rest are designated by numbers. This is the largest number of discovered satellites among all the planets of the solar system. What color is the planet Saturn? 
Saturn has a pale yellow color, a white haze of ammonia covers the entire planet and patiently obscures the red clouds below. The color change is explained as a phenomenon of seasonal changes on the planet. In particular, the amount of sunlight that falls on the poles affects the production of suspended particles in the atmosphere – aerosols. Thank you for watching, subscribe, like and share.